Uncharted is finally a movie. This has been talked about for a long time, and now Ruben Fleischer, the director of Zombieland 1 and 2 and Venom and Gangster Squad, is bringing it to us, starring Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. It also stars Mark Wahlberg as Sully, and we go on an adventure with the both of them as they try to locate a treasure trove of gold. I suppose I should get this out of the way from the beginning. I enjoy the Uncharted games, but they aren't like a religion to me, like, say, Metal Gear Solid. So I'm not coming at this movie like ready to nitpick everything about it and wonder if they translated everything perfectly from the games and choices or liberties that may have been taken are not going to bother me as much as a hardcore fan. I think the Uncharted games are a lot of fun. I enjoy playing them, but they aren't like Metal Gear Solid for me. Or if I were to see a Metroid film, I'd be looking all over the place for inaccuracies and issues with the Metroid movie, which, by the way, is my dream fucking movie. I'm just putting that out there. Hey, I could dream, can I? And while Uncharted isn't going to win any points for originality, more than likely audiences will be pleasantly diverted by the movie. It's very entertaining. The pace is strong. Tom Holland's very good as Nathan Drake, although I guess I pictured Nathan Drake slightly older, but it, it's really not an issue for me. I think that most people, especially if you've never played the Uncharted games, he's going to be a really good gateway into them because he's obviously very popular because of the Spider-Man films, but he's a very charismatic actor who does quite a bit of his own stunts. And you can see that a lot in this movie, and this time he's not wearing a mask. He's leaping over fences and taking some pretty nasty falls in the movie, and I was impressed. He also has surprisingly good chemistry with Mark Wahlberg, who might just be a little bit, hey man, what's going on? For my taste in the film, but not like to the point where it made me not enjoy the movie. I, I like Mark Wahlberg as a actor, you know, he's he's kind of entertaining and he's got his thing and he usually doesn't step outside of it. And I like when he does step out of the boundaries of the typical roles that he usually chooses, but lately he's kind of been coasting a bit. There's no real surprises in Uncharted. It's a bunch of characters that backstab each other a lot and are searching for maps and hidden doorways and keys that open portals and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing new. If you've seen Indiana Jones or National Treasure or Tomb Raider, you've seen Uncharted before, but it's all very skillfully done. And the finale involving two giant boats and two helicopters, while completely implausible and just it would never happen, was extremely entertaining and actually fairly exciting. Ruben Fleischer tends to make movies that audiences appreciate more than critics, Venom being a prime example. And when it comes to Uncharted, that's probably going to be the case. I have a feeling that audiences will enjoy the movie. It's not going to be as big as Spider-Man, obviously, but I could see them making more. There's clearly room for more towards the end of the movie. And if it does well enough and audiences seem to resonate with it, hopefully we'll get like a much better second film because this movie has a lot going for it for me. I like National Treasure. I like Tomb Raider. Obviously, I like Indiana Jones. These kinds of movies, I have a major soft spot for them, and so I'm going to be more forgiving of them. I would say besides the fact that you've essentially seen this movie many times before, the thing about the film that didn't work for me the most is, is that it kind of suffers from the same thing that the character of Mac from Indiana Jones 4 suffers from. That character was quite the backstabber, and you never really knew where his loyalties lied. He just kind of went where the money was. And pretty much everyone except for Nathan Drake is like that for the majority of the movie. And so it doesn't really feel like you make progress with the characters because every time you feel like you might be reaching a new depth when you learn something about them, they'll turn their backs on each other in the next scene and it feels like nobody really builds any loyalty. So it makes it harder to feel excited about some of the characters being on a journey together because everybody just kind of feels like a selfish asshole, except for Nathan Drake. But I also understand that's kind of the point. It just doesn't always work for you when you feel like you're getting to a place where you trust characters and then you suddenly don't anymore. And after that happens so many times and they keep subverting your expectations over and over and over again when it comes to the characters, it's no longer surprising and it's just kind of annoying. The film also struggles to have a central villain because they juggle who the villain is so often. And once the real villain shows themselves, you're like, okay, so that's, that's what we're doing. I get it now. But 
it just takes a while to feel like you're fully invested in what the, the story wants the characters to do. But like I said, Uncharted was entertaining and I was never bored with the movie and I was pretty much consistently involved in it, at the very least the action sequences. And as a video game movie, it's certainly one of the better ones. So check it out this weekend if you feel like having a diverting two hours. It could entertain you, as it did me. So some of you may have seen a recent video that I put out called We Can't Do This Without You. And in that video, I announced that I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter campaign for my film Shelby Oaks that is going to be shot this summer. That campaign is going to launch on March 1st, and we really do need your help. We've run into a lot of different issues in regards to getting the film off the ground, and this is something that is really going to help us a lot. If you go to shelbyoaksmovie.com, you can sign up through your email there and become part of the Discord. Eventually, I'll be doing a lot of videos throughout March, uh, including a Q&A. But really what I want to do with the campaign is kind of become a gateway for people to see what it's like to make an indie film uh, in the Midwest and Ohio. Like as somebody who's really just plunging into it for the first time, I think it could be really hopefully educational for other people to learn about the filmmaking industry a little bit and see the pre-production, production, and post-production process. And I want to take you guys on that journey with me. I really want it to be an experience. So please do check out shelbyoaksmovie.com. And on March 1st, that campaign is going to launch. And I hope to see you guys there. I really do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.